All right, let's see what this thing can do. Zombies, the bloodthirsty undead. When they arrive, will you survive? Zombie go boom, kick undead ass. Hey, what's up, survivors? Welcome to another mind-blowing episode from Zombie Go Boom. I'm Chuck Murray. I'm Charles Fultz. And two and a half years ago, we tested this bad boy, and we broke it, so we made one out of real materials based on the design from this Nerf Zombie Strike Club, and we managed to make a weapon that not only worked, but it got the overkill seal of destruction. So you're essentially gonna see the same thing. A design from Nerf, unnerfed, and made into a real, real thing. Are you excited about this? This is pretty awesome. Yeah. So before we test our unnerfed version, which is made out of a brick and a pipe, we're gonna be testing out the Nerf version, which is made out of foam. All right, let's see what this thing can do. Wow. It can break. Well, this is messed up. Time to try out the real one. This one was made by my dad. He used a brick, some cement, a pipe, some fittings, and then we wrapped it around with fiber fix in order to make sure that the cement wasn't gonna break and the brick wasn't going to spin. But all in all, we think this thing has a wonderful chance to work, at least I do. Charles thinks the brick might break. I think the brick will not break. But there's only one way to find out. Are you ready? I'm always ready. Let's do it. All right, so that was a bit of a glancing blow and even still it cut through like cut through the skin layer, our flesh layer, and totally annihilated the mandible right there. This zombie's not gonna be able to bite you anymore. This is more than just a crack. This is a straight up break. It's like in three pieces. It's pretty good. Pretty devastating, I would say. Yeah. Let's move on to another strike. All right, we hit the jaw, the jaw broke. Now we're gonna work our way around the skull, starting with the temple. Damn! Wow. Damn! Holy mother of God! The whole God. side of the head is hemorrhaging. Yeah, it's all. Look, Dude. it's 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 hemorrhaging here it's all the blood is just pooling out there's this giant hole wow Crap. look at this wow. giant Dude. hole i mean god dang i don't know how much more we can do because this is like look at this all the blood this is basically everything it broke here hemorrhaged everywhere everywhere Dude, that's insane. Wow. This thing is amazing. It's pretty awesome. We haven't seen this kind of damage uh, in, wow. In, well, pretty much forever. Any, I don't think I've ever yeah. seen that. No, not really. That's insane. So basically, whatever we decide to do to this thing next, it's gonna totally annihilate it. Why don't we try, the frontal bone's still good. We might not get a lot of blood because it all came out, but I wanna see if it's that easy to break the frontal bone as it was to break the temporal bone. Because my God, it didn't just break. Like, it, it's a freaking hole. That's a, this is the kind of damage that you see from like a firearm, to put it into perspective. And an and exit wound of a firearm, actually. Also, we just wanted to show you that the neck is broken. See that? Yeah. Devastating, devastating. Lights out. If you're a zombie, you're totally dead. If you're a person, you didn't even feel it. All right, now let's attack that frontal bone. Well, at first it didn't look like it did much to the frontal bone, but after actually poking in there, we can see that the frontal bone was ah, completely 
annihilated. Look at that. Wow. The entire skull cap isn't even connected to the head anymore. And look how thick that frontal bone is. Look how thick that frontal bone is. I mean, God dang. And Charles didn't even hit it that hard is the crazy thing. Here, I can grab this piece of well, bone so you can kind of see what well, I'm talking swung about. It hard, but a lot of the force was uh, taken out by the fact that it moved back and it wasn't really tied down as well as it should have been. But still, but it did even that. Still, yeah. That's amazing. That thing is devastating, it's dude. It's ridiculous. We My should, God. We should make your dad our new weaponsmith. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was going to work, but I am floored by the results. I did not think that it was going to be that devastating. It's insane. It's just this thing that destroys heads. It's amazing. This is one of my favorite Zombie Go Boom weapons. At, and at least one of the favorite modded ones. For sure. And, yeah. and we've stayed relatively dry, you yeah, know what I mean? I'm like, not really bloody at all. Um, I mean, I'm bloody from touching the head, but outside of that, like, this thing does the kind of damage that you want because it's a one-hit kill. You don't have to put everything you have into that strike because this thing is heavy enough to do a lot of the damage for you with inertia and gravity and things of that nature. And it'll probably last a really long time. I mean, it's basically just as good as it was before we even started to test it. So you probably would be able to kill a ton of zombies before you actually start to see the weapon weather. Yeah. And if you do see it weather, if you do see it kind of start getting destroyed, well, it's not that hard to make another one. Right. I mean, even in the apocalypse, you can find all these things just lying around at construction sites. This doesn't always happen with modded weapons. It's very rare that a modded weapon will do this much damage. Last week, we tested out a weapon that was used for war, and it did less damage than this thing. Yeah, which is insane. And this is a testament to the designers at Nerf also, because if you took their weapons and you actually made them out of real life stuff, like the club and now this, they actually do a ton of damage. And these are people that are just designing to make things look cool, but little do they know that this would actually work and work very well during the zombie apocalypse. We're gonna do one more strike. Yes, the temporal bone is completely annihilated. The frontal bone is completely annihilated, but the occipital bone and the parietal bones are actually pretty much intact. And if we hit it with a downward vertical strike, which is generally how we start, it's funny that this is the last hit we're doing, <laughs> we might actually be able to break the parietal bone and the occipital bone enough to actually have the entire skull cap just crush downward on the rest of the zombie's head and we think that's gonna look pretty cool so let's try it out ready yeah I really hope you liked that episode please Punch the living crap out of that like button, share, and subscribe. It's the best and cheapest way you can support the show. And with another mind-blowing one from Zombie Go Boom, I'm Chuck Murray. I'm Charles Fultz. And we'll see you next time.